Welcome to part 2 of module 4 unit 2 mineralogy. In this we will be seeing the remaining portion of pyroxene and amphibole group of minerals. In the previous uh, part 1 video we have seen pyroxene group of minerals and we have seen part of amphib amphibole group of minerals. As we have seen this pyroxene and amphibole group of minerals have similar chemical composition, isomorphism and polymorphism physical properties. Here is atomic structure. In atomic structure, the pyroxene groups are inosilicates with single chain silicates, whereas amphibole group having inosilicates with double chain silicates. We have seen the amphibole group of minerals. We have seen the general chemical composition of amphibole group of minerals. Its composition is little complex, but the base material is silica and the radical it can have calcium, sodium, magnesium, combination of iron aluminum and iron. The most common amphibole group of mineral is hypersthene, sorry, hornblende. It is either calcium, magnesium, iron, aluminum with aluminum, silica, oxygen, OH. This OH uh, hydroxyl hydroxyl ion. This is also the one of this is also the main difference between pyroxene group and amphibole group of minerals. In pyroxene group of minerals, you don't find hydroxyl ion. Whereas in amphibole group of minerals, you will be in almost all the amphibole group of minerals, you will be finding this hydroxyl ions. As we discussed, this amphibole group of minerals are double chain silicates double chain inosilicates and the ratio of silica to oxygen is in the ratio of 4 to 11. So isomorphism since magnesium and iron both exist in amphibole group of minerals both have similar valency ionic size and coordination number and are interchangeable. So isomorphism does exist between these two radicals. Polymorphism Amphibole group of minerals does not exhibit any polymorphism. Physical properties we have seen. The distinctive physical property is cleavage. Two sets of prismatic cleavage is available. The cleavage angle is 124 degree and 56 degree at basal sections. And the other physical properties remains very similar to pyroxene group of minerals. Now we will see about weathering of amphibole group of minerals. Since amphiboles closely resembles pyroxenes in all the aspects like ferromagnesium in composition, inosilicates in atomic structures and having similar physical properties of hardness and cleavage, weathering of amphiboles proceeds on the same lines as those of pyroxenes. This ferrous magnesium sodia, sodium ions upon weathering leach out as soluble material and calcium forms carbonate resulting in the disintegration of amphibole groups. It is very similar to that of pyroxenes. Like other ferromagnesium minerals, these are not very much resistant to weathering. On decomposition, magnesium, iron and sodium parts are leached out as a soluble material because they form solution of carbonate or chloride from the CO2 of natural waters. Occurrences in igneous rocks, it occurs only as accessory mineral like granite igneous rocks. It does not occur in sedimentary rocks. We have seen in pyroxene also, both pyroxene and amphibole group of minerals does not occur in sedimentary rocks because they are not very much resistant to weathering. Once the weathering agent acts, it forms another mineral, metamorphic rocks. Occurs very common in metamorphic rocks. Amphibolites, hornblende chis, anti and sorry, actinolite chis or antigenesis are typical examples where this type of minerals occurs in metamorphic rocks. Uses of amphibole group of minerals. As we have already seen, the highly valuable ornamental stone jade is of two types, one of which is pyroxene jadeite and the other one is amphibole nephrite. So both uh, Jadeite, a pyroxene group of mineral, and nephrite, an amphibole group of mineral, is used as an ornamental stone. 
This amphibole group of minerals is fibrous in nature. One of the main constituents, one of the main minerals is asbestos. These asbestos types are used in industries. They are also used in the manufacture of asbestos cement and as insulating material. Since it has a high heat resistant uh, capacity, it is used as an insulating material. Crossidolite, a type of mineral in amphibole groups, when replaced by quartz, produces ornamental stone known as tiger's eye or cathode. So both the pyroxene and amphibole group of minerals, we are using it as ornamental stones but that are uh, secondary uses only. The primary concern for as our civil engineering is it is the main group of mineral that forms the major types of rocks. Almost uh, except uh, sedimentary rocks, uh, it is a common occurrence in both metamorphic and uh, igneous rocks. So we have to understand the physical, chemical and optical nature of the minerals to better understand the igneous rocks and metamorphic rocks. So what are the main differences between pyroxenes and amphiboles? First we will be seeing the physical properties. What is the difference in physical property between pyroxene group of minerals and amphibole group of minerals? Augite, typical of pyroxene is nearly black. Horn blend, typical of amphiboles is dark colored but more greenish. Prismatic cleavage of pyroxene is nearly rectangular, but in amphibole it is rhombic. Um, the common occurring mineral in pyroxene group is agate and hypersthene, whereas in the common occurring mineral in amphibole group is hornblende. Agate typical of pyroxene is nearly black, whereas hornblende it is dark color but more greenish. And cleavage of pyroxene is nearly rectangular, whereas amphibole it is rhombic. Next, we will be seeing what is the difference in composition as we have already seen pyroxenes are typically anhydrous means it does not contain OH radical but all amphiboles are hydrous and have OH radical based on the OH radical content pyroxenes have less alkali content but amphiboles have more alkali since they have hydroxyl ion the alkali content of the amphiboles are much higher than that of pyroxenes so in physical properties uh, the color changes and also the cleavage structure changes. Pyroxene is nearly rectangular, in amphibole it is rhombic. Whereas in composition, the main difference is the presence of anhydrous ion. Sorry, presence of hydrous ion. It does not, uh, the hydrous ion does not present in pyroxene group, whereas in amphibole group, the hydroxyl OH radical ion present. Since the, there is the presence of OH radical ion in amphiboles, they are much more alkali in nature than that of pyroxene group. So next atomic structure. Pyroxenes are this we have gone through numerous times. Pyroxenes are inosilicates. Both pyroxenes and amphibole groups are inosilicates but pyroxenes are single chain silicates whereas amphiboles are double chain silicates. Since pyroxenes are single chain silicates their ratio SiO3 SiO3 1 is to 3 silicon to oxygen ratio whereas in double chain silicons the ratio of silicon to oxygen is 4 is to 11 and also occurrence. Pyroxenes occurs more in igneous rocks whereas amphiboles occurs more in metamorphic rocks. So these are the main differences between pyroxenes and amphiboles. Apart from these differences it resume, both resume, both have nearly semi, same chemical composition, nearly same physical properties, same resistance to weathering and same mode of occurrences and uses. Because both uh, we have seen uh, in secondary purposes they are used as ornamental stones and most of the rock forming minerals contains either pyroxenes or amphiboles. Thank you.